to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event of the evening. Here we go, Box Smart. Box Smart. The opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. A much-anticipated fight. Round one underway. Able to cover up that gut. A little head hunting with the left. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Money's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Ten seconds. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Well, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In this case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it's he yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. Tried the hook. Didn't get it. Raging Bull's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Goes up top with a right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good block by Money. Good job, buddy. Come on, kid. Ten seconds to go in this round. You're doing good. And round number three is underway. Nowhere close that punch by Money. You're not focusing. You're not focusing. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. You know,
know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? Focus. They both had the Focus. same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Keep it going. Good block by Money. Money's sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. Mayweather's hurt bad by a right hand. Let's go, that's right. Shake it off. Teddy, he's stunned right there. Now he's clinching right here. And that's the only way he's getting through this round. He needs to stay there and hold on for dear life. Good job, boy. Good job. Final 10 seconds. Oh, no. Right now, more punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see it. Let the fist go. Let him go. Unable to connect by Raging Bull. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some more. Round number four is underway. Teddy's got it a clean sweep. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He's still not moving. Go, go. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Halfway yeah, through round number good four. Work, good work. Defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Come on, punch, punch, punch. That's it. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round four. Raging Bulls putting on a display of accuracy, and the punch numbers tell that story. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities, because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. And he ties up on the inside. Pop the jab, use the jab, use the jab. Mayweather's well off the mark that time. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus more. Yeah. Uppercut. Uppercut. It's wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. Halfway into round number five Do that here. Again. That looks good. Do that one more time. You're not focusing. You're not focusing. Oh. Left and right. There you go. He gets hit, you but he go. gives it right back. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh. 
fires right back at him. Raging Bull's making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much. He's really utilizing that ring and showing that he's got the better footwork. Yeah, he's doing what the old times would say, Joe. He's giving angles, keeping his opponent off balance. His opponent is strong, but he needs to be set to punch. He's making sure he doesn't allow him to get set. Doesn't give him that kind of landscape. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Unload right now. More punches, baby. Punches and punches. Let's see. Let the fist go. Let him go. You're still not moving enough. Come on now. Move. Move. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. That was not well targeted by Raging Bull. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Money's showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Raging Bull's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Off the target by Money. As this fight has gone on longer and longer, you're seeing supreme skill by Raging Bull. Good, strong, clean, and effective punching. And you're seeing a lot of frustration, at least I am, by his opponent. I mean, it's kind of like spitting in a windstorm. It's coming right back and hitting him in the face. Anything he tries to throw, it just doesn't work. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. to the head. At the halfway point of round seven. Mayweather's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. Raging Bull's really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron not chin focusing. because the chin never gets They're touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Of the tox. Not able to connect with the uppercut. And the round comes to an end. You gotta move with your hands in there. Let them things go. You gotta give me the double jab, champ. You You're not the giving me the, the double jab. You only seven rounds complete. Teddy's scorecard has it one-sided. Raging Bulls score a knockdown. 
No, but it kind of makes you think a little bit about another sport. You know, the great basketball player Michael Jordan used to always say, let the game come to you. Don't force yourself on the game. That's exactly what he's doing. He's allowing the fight to be what it should be, to come to him. He's not trying to force something that he should. Focus. Focus. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Raging Bull. Unload. Right, right to the head with baby. that right. Bunches and bunches. Let's see it. Let the fist go. Let him go. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. Money's just punching on, air that move. time. His move. opponent was able to get out of the way. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Mayweather's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Gages in the clinch. Keep working the body. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Come on, kid. And this round comes to an end. Raging Bull's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy. Does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on, now. seconds into the ninth round. Scored well up top. Jab. Pop the jab. Use the jab. Use the jab. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Missed the body shot. And that's the end of round nine. Raging Bull's corner is like a party over there. Everybody's slapping each other on the back and having a good time. They're positive now, but they still got to be careful. Yes, they're up on the scorecards, but still some fight left here. Uppercut. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Get up, get up. Come on. Keep that head moving, baby. Come on, champ. Money's leaving head. himself Keep wide open head. there. Come you on. just Keep can't moving. do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen.
And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Left and right, left and right, back to the body, back to the body. Focus, focus. That's a solid right hand by Money. Money's Pundo, movement's really right, helping him punch, out, avoiding that punch. punch. Let's see it. Let the fist go. Let him go. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. Good flush double jab by Raging Bull. And round 10 comes to an end. Don't stand in front of me. This is it. You heard him. Keep on. You any more of these? I'll 11th round now underway. Raging Bull's been stringing together all these rounds consecutively. He's got so much momentum here, I think he's going to carry it right through for a win. Well, that's the right way to say it. You know, he's, he's riding a wave, and that wave is taking him right to shore. Relax. Come on now. Relax. Deep breathe. Buddy here. Buddy here. Oh. Mayweather's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the scorecards, but as he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to start now getting countered. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. Not much action as he just ties up. Halfway through this 11th round. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. left hand upstairs Man, and that's, that's what it, fighters do job. pulls good the job. trigger right away after taking one 10 seconds remaining in this round this has been a hotly contested war throughout and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Mayweather's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Well, he missed that right. And now just wasting everybody's time That's holding it. on. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Nice. nice. Halfway through this 12th and final round. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Just a minute to go in this bout. 
focusing. You're not focusing. Keep your hands up. A couple up. of quick jabs landed by Raging Bull. Left and right. Left and right. Come on, baby. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Last 10 Focus. seconds Focus. of the fight. <laughs> Completely one-sided fight. At least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. So a unanimous decision win by Raging Bull. That's the way we saw it all night long. The judges agree. It was hard to see it any other way. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.